What's up, everybody? We are at the 2022 CrossFit Games. My name is Jesse Burdick. My name is Renna John. And we are about to be the main site wad today, which is... The CrossFit Total! Let's get huge. I would pull this to the end of the hooks, pull yourself underneath it, and go so it doesn't keep wobbling on your upper back, right? So get it where you want it, keep pulling that this way, and then it's gonna be perfect when you stand up because that's also gonna activate kind of upper back and lats for you. And just make this a little bit more sturdy and strong. If you can see, we're kind of checking in, trying to make sure how she's feeling, what the weight's on the bar, how the bar's moving. So this is gonna be about 205, which is right around a theoretical 90% for her. So this will be the real telltale sign. The last attempt looked awesome. So if we're looking at 225 as her PR, we're gonna take this. If it feels good, go to like a 215 and then a 230, try and sneak in a little bit of a PR there. And then probably call it a day and kind of move on. So that was 205. Okay, 215. Go to 215 and then we'll try and sneak in a, a quick little PR at 230. So as we're headed into our last couple of attempts, really trying to make sure you get about a minute and a half to two minute and a half minutes or so of a rest. If you're a big fat power lifter, you're gonna to want to take like five or ten. But because we are fitness enthusiasts and athletes, we're here, we're gonna kinda of condense that. Also because we only have an hour to work. I would say you got one more attempt because of all because of the work that we have. So this is a big deal and people screw this up. If you have a chance to put two wheels on the bar, you put two wheels on the bar. As you're in the bottom, we're pushing the floor and we're pushing the sky away, right? Okay, so push, be active. Active upper body into that bar. That's the only thing you're starting to get a little bit of a tilt out of the bottom. You put chest up out of the hole, you skate. Um, if you are spotting, there's a couple of different ways to spot. You can kind of spot All like right. I was. So and make sure you get that bar off of them. If it's a position where it's just you, make sure that you, there's no one behind you when you are dumping the bar. In an ideal situation, if you want to come over here, you would have two people, one on this side of the bar, one on that side of the bar. You would walk out, you actually just walk this out real quick. If we need to have two barbells in the lane, we can. And you would hang here, this way, because if she goes forward, into the crux of your elbow. If she goes backwards, into the crux of your elbow and you're safe this way. And then you sand her up and then you walk her back in. So that's something that's important to be able to have. If you can, if you can't, just make sure that you talk to your spotter behind you and have a plan, whether you're underneath or on top. We just want to make sure everyone's safe so we can keep going to the next couple, right? As you're going, you look down, okay. press, and then you look up and go here. So let's just find a horizon, and then as you need it, you can start to look up, because that's gonna drift the bar a little bit further, like to midline and behind you. But when you're here, your body is always gonna follow your eyes, which your head always follows your eyes. So we're starting down, we have this big arc this way. So let's just find that, stay here, so we can easily kind of punch through. That's the only thing, everything else is awesome. As a deadlift gets heavy, it's gonna feel like it's taking forever to come off the ground. 
and it's gonna take forever to get to your knees. You, it's a hard thing to teach tightness and patience at the same time, but this is gonna challenge you. Keep pulling on the bar, lots of really good things happen. And if maybe the best thing doesn't happen, you don't hit a PR, you at least tried real hard, which is the whole goal, remember, and then we also have some, um, some information that will help us in your training in the further couple of uh, weeks and months before we hit this again. So usually I'm not a proponent of tying your PR, but in this case, because we made a couple of changes, I wanted to be able to feel the difference between the first 225 and what this 225 feels like. And if there's more, great. If not, we fix stuff that will in the future, as long as she keeps doing it, accelerate her deadlift out of control. My only goal here is for her to feel what it feels like, get it right, and then we can call it a day if we want to. So we're gonna take a small PR here and then walk off into the CrossFit Games really, really happy. You don't have to take, you know, you don't have to go for, it's unrealistic after a while to think about like 10 and 20% PRs because that's unrealistic for the fact that she just ran two miles and did 150 pull-ups earlier. So there's a lot of things to consider. So be happy with a small PR. It's still a lot of great work especially at the end of the day or the end of a workout, right?